Good evening, guys. Hello, Adriana, Daisy, Zara. Good evening. How are you, girls? How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everything going? How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I visit my family. Oh, that's so cool. Where does your family live? Where do they live? El, we live in San Rafael Obrajuelo, no. Department of La Paz. Oh, okay. San Rafael Obrajuelo, San Rafael. Oh, okay. But, but it's kind yeah. of... Near Zacatecoluca. Ah, okay. San Rafael. Sounds good. But I think that that area is kind of kind of warm, right? It's kind of hot. Yes, yes. Sorry, I'm trying to find my, my earphones. I have lost them. Um, all right, but that sounds good. The good thing is that you have like a like a good chance to to spend some time with your family so that is super cool is there a rachel what about you girls how was your weekend adriana margarita good evening how are you how was your weekend fine girls? thank you fine did you have a weekend very really fine really oh why how so um what did you do? Um, I go, I go my family um, for dinner in, in Friday. Okay, okay, sounds good. Um, is, oh, was my birthday. Oh, congratulations, happy birthday. So did you have a nice one? Did you have a nice celebration with your family? Yeah, good, cool. very good. Did, did you get some presents? Only one. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, but the good thing is that you spend time with your family. So at the end of the day, that is what matters okay okay nice that is really good to hear it said happy birthday to you <laughs> that is super cool it's better sapo verde to you <laughs> yeah right that's the one that we used to sing in el salvador okay no but i'm super glad um you had a good time uh ingrid good evening erica well alejandra hello great to see you jose luis Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Oscar. How are you guys? Everything good? Did you have a nice weekend? Was it good? Was it okay? Did you? Well, I know that the weather was not the best, but did you have like, I don't know, did you spend some time at home? Did you stay there? Did you have some bread with coffee? So what did you do, guys? What did you do on the weekend? Did you watch some Netflix uh, series, movies, nothing? Uh, boys, what did you do? Did you work? Hi, Betty, good evening. All right. I guess it is Monday, so we are like, uh. <laughs> so we are still super down, right? But hopefully um, we can improve that, you know, by the end of the day. All right, guys, uh, we are going to continue working a little bit with, oh, I'm sorry, Rachel. Are you, are you okay now? Are you feeling better? Uh, I try to speak because I have a cough. Cough. What do you oh, say? Cough. Yes, when, cough. When I was talking a lot, I was mm, cough. Yes. I'm sorry I about to, it. Yes. Okay. Was it, was it <laughs> only cough or did you get the flu? Mm. Did you get a sore yes. throat? 
See the since um, Friday, Saturday, yesterday I was sick. Sorry to hear you. I have a sick week. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and the and the weather. I know that the weather doesn't help much. Yeah. Uh, today, for example, I don't normally get headaches, but today I had like a terrible headache. So I believe it's the weather. I believe it's, it's word, like yes. mm -hmm, the changes of temperature, like having hot days and then cold days, <laughs> humid days. So I guess it's the weather. Okay. Yes, teacher. But but I hope a eh, Rachel that it's only a cough and you feel a eh, better soon. Thank already. you. Teacher. Well, guys, we are going to get uh, started here. We have a couple of things to check today, especially verbs. So we're going to be checking verbs today. Um, we are going to practice a little bit of simple past. That is topic for unit number two, right? And uh, um, in one moment, I have one activity, guys, so we can get started. Um, what you see here on my screen is called a tongue twister. So we are going to practice this tongue twister, all right? The idea of tongue twisters is just pronunciation. So we are going to try to say this tongue twister the fastest you can, super quick, all right? We are going to read it slowly first. So we are going to get the hang of it. And then we are going to get started like trying to say this the fastest we can, all right? And let me read it for you first. And uh, please uh, don't use your dictionary, don't use translation because we don't need to translate, just we need to practice it. So it says, uh, it goes like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. So if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. That's it. Okay. So we're gonna try to uh, say this. <laughs> we're gonna try to go over the tongue twister. Okay, slowly first, and then we're gonna try to do it the fastest we can. So guys, uh, repeat with me, please. She sells. She sells. She sells. Okay, now we're going to put together the first three lines. I'm sorry, the three uh, words. So she sells seashells. Uh, I'm sorry, she sells seashells. 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 By the seashore. Is it all by the teacher. By the teacher. I'm sorry. You, you cannot see that? Guys, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. I yes, can. teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, Margarita, do you see my screen? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Guys, give me confirmation, please. If you don't see my screen or something, let me know. Okay. So it goes like this. Uh, remember this. S and S, we put it together. So she sells seashells. She, she sells seashells. She sells by the seashore. By the seashore. By the seashore. The shells she sells. The shells she sells. Are seashells. Are seashells. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure. So if she sells seashells, so if she sells seashells on the seashore, on the seashore, then I'm sure. Then I'm sure. I'm sure. She sells seashore shells. She sells seashore shells. She sells seashore shells. She sells, she sells, she sells, she sells, she sells, she sells, okay, there you go, there you go, okay, guys, she very sells, good, so this is a tongue twister, and once again, the idea is to say this really quick, fast, right, but fast, depending on your speed, no les voy a pedir que se lo memoricen right now, but I'm going to give you guys one minute, so you can practice it aloud, all right? I'm gonna give you one minute para que lo puedan practicar. I'm going to close your microphones. 
And uh, so you can practice on your own. You can listen to yourself. And then you can try to say this lo más rápido que puedan, the fastest you can. So once again, it goes like this. Uh, she sells seashells by the seashore. The, she the shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. So if you pay attention, solamente it's like shh, right? Uh, and the only difference is con este sonido que es sure, sure, and the rest is shh. Okay, guys, I'll give you one minute. Le pueden tomar captura if you prefer. Um, you can definitely take a screenshot, a picture, whatever works for you. And uh, guys, les voy a dar un minutito. I'm going to give you one minute para que lo practiquen. Practice this on your own. And if you have questions, let me know. One minute. Okay, guys, are you ready or do you need more time? Are you ready, guys? Is everybody ready? Do you need more one more minute? Okay. Yes, teacher. So Oh, you need more time. Or you no. are good. You're ready. I am ready. Okay, perfect, perfect. Sounds really good. Okay, guys. So I just need like two volunteers here. Who would like to read it, guys? Who wants to volunteer? Who wants to give it a try? guys. Who wants to give it a try? Me, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. Go for it. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are the seashells, I am sure. So if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I am sure she sees her, she sells seashore shells. Oh, that was good. That was really all right. Okay, that was good, good, good. Very nice job, Jose Luis. Okay, guys, who would like to give it a try? Who wants to try to say this a little faster? Volunteers, I can pick some victims too. <laughs> Who else do we volunteer? Okay, so let me pick some people here. Um, I don't know, but I see Daisy like, I wanna go, I wanna get it. So <laughs> okay, thank you, 
crazy. You can do it, girl. Don't worry. Take your time. So just give it a try. Okay. I try. She serves she sells by the chisel. The cheers she sells are chisel. I'm sure. So if she sells chisels on the chisel, then I'm sure she sells chisel shells. That was really good. That was all right. Very nice try. Okay, Daisy, can you pick up somebody else? Can you select another person? Raquel. Okay. Oh, oh, issue. The thing is that I don't know if that was a, an emoji because Rachel was sick, she said. Uh, Rachel, do you feel all right? Mm. I'm going to try. It. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Yo estaba aplaudiendo, no estaba levantando la mano. Yeah, I thought that it was like a sort of emoji, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they picked you, so. <laughs> okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells, seashell, she sells are seashells. I'm sure so if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I am sure she sells seashore shells. Oh, that was really good. Okay, that was really good. So guys, in English, there are a lot of tongue twisters like this. Like in Spanish, we have Pablito, Clavun, Clavito, and all of them, right? And they are super good for pronunciation practice and uh, for fluency. So we can speak a little faster. Um, you can try to memorize these, right? Uh, or if you find another on the internet, that is perfect. That is really good. Um, now, moving on with the topic for today. In the previous class, I showed uh, these list of verbs over to you. So we can talk about simple past events. I told before that I'm not going to give you like 20, 30, or a list of 100 verbs, but we are just going to memorize the most important verbs. So kind of we practice on this and uh, um, one sec. Okay. So, and uh, we kind of, well, I ask you to work a little bit with the past of these verbs. So let me go ahead and ask for a couple of uh, verbs in past from the list we have right here. Alejandra, please, what is the past for a break? Broke. Perfect, Margarita, what, what about calm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Come down. Come what down. about, yeah, came is good. English, okay. what about do? Do and uh, this. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sarah, what about drive? Draw. Draw. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ajá. Creo que alguien estaba ayudando there. <laughs> no, very nice job, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. Betty, what about a drink? I don't know, teacher. Oh, okay. Guys, can we help Betty? What is the pass of drink? Drunk. Very good job. That is drunk. drunk. Uh, Adriana, what about eat? Eat, eat. Eight. Mm -hmm. eight. Eight. Very good. There you go. But you got it. Nice. Lisa, good evening. What about the pass for go? Okay. <laughs> um this one go. Go. Gwen. Gwen. Yes. Why why do you hesitate? Porque lo duda, Miss. <laughs> yes, Gwen is good. Okay. And uh, Oscar. So Oscar, what about you? Mm, 
Give out. It's super yeah. easy. It's super easy. Solo una, una letra cambia. One letter changes. Gay. Yes, perfect. There you go. Have. Jose Luis, what's the passive have? Have. Have. Perfect. What about no? Uh, so, what would be the best for no, guys? New. New. New, okay, very good. So now new, I knew it. All right, excellent. That sounds really good. Today, I'm going to include here a couple of uh, more verbs. All right, so again, no es que sean nuevos totalmente. I know they are not 100% new to you, but it's just for us to refresh part of the verbs. So guys, first, repiten conmigo, please repeat with me. Feel felt. Feel felt. Feel felt. Feel felt. Feel felt. Okay, felt. can you give me an example with felt? Felt. 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 Sentir, exactly. Can you give me a sentence using felt? In present, teacher. Uh, in in past, in past, break, in please. Present. Yeah, using felt. I feel bad today. Mm, I feel bad today. Y el pasado sería, I? I felt yes. bad. There you go. In I, the I morning. Know. Exactly, I felt bad in the morning, in the afternoon, or even today, you know. So me sentí mal todo el día. That is perfect. Okay, next one, guys. Repeat with me. Fly flu. Fly, fly, fly flu. Fly flu. Fly flu. Flu. Okay. Que fue fell. Fall. 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 What is the meaning of fall? Caer. Okay. Fall. Yes, can you give me an example using fell? I fell I fell off my bed. Hoy, uh, remember feel or felt is like, oh, I felt sick, I felt angry, but fail is a pass for fall. Um, so if we say fail, ¿de dónde nos podemos caer? Where do you normally fall down? I fell the bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for, if we're talking okay. about bed, vamos a agregarle algo más. Yes, miss. Vamos a agregarle fall off, right? I'm sorry, me comí la E. Fall off, que es como caerse. Or sometimes van a ver esa expresión muy cerca de fall down. Me caí, right? Fall down. So, mm -hmm, I fall down. Or y si es una bicicleta, por ejemplo, fall off, right? Si es de la cama, sería fall off. Fall off. Yes. Okay. And in pasado, I fell. Oh, I fell off the bed. I fell down the table. I fell down uh, when I was leaving my house. Yeah. Uh, hello, Miss. I can be her teacher, but I'm not sure. Talk to me, Miss. I'm so sorry. Um, can you say that again? Se me está cortando, mis, pero no sé si es my internet. Guys, ¿me escuchan bien? Do you listen to me very well? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Ok, creo que la compañera se le está quebrando un poco. Miss, eh, si me escucha, puede escribirlo. Can you, can you type it in the chat? Sorry. Or, guys, no sé si alguien le logró escuchar. Were you able to listen to her? Okay, okay, so hopefully she's back. All right, so any example, guys? Alguna idea que se les ocurra con foil? So we have foil, fell. Uh, Jose Luis decía caerse de la cama, yes, yeah, so I fell off my bed, right, yesterday. Any other idea? Guys, nunca se han caído. You have never fallen I down. I fall off the chair. Ah, okay, so we have foil. So I fall down the chair. You see, it's pasado, I, I? Fell. I fell down the fell. chair. 
Yes, exactly. Yes, José Luis. I fell the motorcycle. I fell off the motorcycle. Exactly. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, that is a really you bad want experience. To fall on your in your arm. arm. <laughs> What? Okay. Uh, sí, funciona también, right? Ahí fue. Aunque okay. es como bien metafórico. Bueno, fun your arms. Yeah, it's like super, I don't know. Romantic. I Romantic. never fall down in your arm. Oh, I know. <laughs> so I, okay. Romantics. Okay. Yeah. Guys, romantic styling. Very romantic. <laughs> Okay, so I fell in your arms. I didn't fall in your arms. So that is a good example. And you completed a romantic today, definitely. <laughs> um, Ingrid me dice que se escucha un poco cortado. And, um, guys, no. Me regalan. no. Okay. Ingrid creería que su inter, pero tiene la cámara apagada. Si se puede conectar con el teléfono, a veces el teléfono le da mejor señal. So, bless you. A vez para el audio, probably it can work. Okay. Forget, se olvidan. Mm -hmm. Forget, es olvidar, exactly. So, forget, and the past is forgot, all right? Forget, forgot. Guys, what did you forget? ¿Qué han olvidado? What have you forgotten? Olvida todo. <laughs> okay, so give us example, Sarah. I forgot que olvidó. You can say that. Oh, se me olvidó todo. I forgot everything. That's a good example. <laughs> yeah, so I, I forgot. Yes? I forgot my keys. Oh, okay. So I forgot everything. I forgot my keys. All right. ¿Qué más, guys? ¿Qué se les ha olvidado? I forgot to take a shower. No, Miss, how can you forget that? <laughs> no, eso es no quería. I didn't want to take a shower. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay, so I forgot, probably, si alguna vez han olvidado su dinero en casa. So I forgot my money at home. I forgot my keys at home. El almuerzo, no sé si llevan almuerzo. Like, I forgot my lunchbox at home. ¿Qué han olvidado, guys? What have you forgotten? Nothing. Todavía no sufren de amnesia, guys. You don't suffer like forgetting. I forgot my problems. cell phone. Okay, you forgot your cell phone. Okay. So I am super forgetful, guys. So normally, uh, yo siempre olvido como las tortillas cuando las puesto en el fuego. So <laughs> I normally forgot like my food uh, in the burner. So that's like really bad. Okay, so we have forget. Forgot. Uh, okay, so repitamos one more time, uh, like most of these verbs. Feel felt. Feel felt. Feel felt. Fly flew. Fly flew. 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 Like the flu, right? Okay. Fall fell. Fall fell. Forget. Forgot. Forget. Forgot. 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 Hit, hit. Forgot. Hit, 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 hit. The same. Hit, okay. Hit. Make, made. Make, made. Make, made. Make, made. Meet, met. Meet, met. Put, put. Put, 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 put. put, put. Read, read. Read, read, read. Okay, same verb, different pronunciation. So read, read, same spelling, right? Uh, I read a book, present. I read a book that is past. So that is the only difference. Como el color, red, read, read. Okay, send, sent. Send, sent. Send, sent. Okay, there. Very good, there we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you four, five minutes. I'm going to give you five minutes and do me a big favor, guys. Uh, can you write one sentence with the verbs that you don't remember the most, please? Can you write? I'm going to write it here. So can you uh, write 
one sentence. Algunos verbos, again, no son nuevos. Some of these verbs, ustedes ya los conocen, they are not 100% new. So write one sentence uh, with the new verbs, with the new verbs in past, all right? For example, si de esta lista that you see here, el único verbo que era nuevo era forget. Forget, forget. So, hagamos un ejemplo with forget. Oh, I forgot uh, my mother's birthday and she was really angry at me. Okay. Or if the only verb that was new for you was foil, fell. So, I fell down the bicycle last week. Right? So, write one sentence with the new verbs. Solo con los verbos que no conocían. The verbs that are new for you. Guys, we have five minutes. Tenemos cinco minutitos. You can make it uh, in, in the positive. Of course, you can make them negative or question. Lo que más les cueste, guys, whatever is the most difficult for you. So we got five minutes. Let me know, please. Me avisen cuando terminen. Let me know when you finish. Si necesitan menos tiempo, better. Are we ready, guys? Do you need more time? Did you find any difficulty? Uh, any problem with the words? Are you okay? Are we good? No new verbs. ¿Cuántos verbos nuevos encontraron, guys? How many new verbs did you get? Or at least in past. Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, miss. Tell me, Lizeth. Um, the verb hit, mm -hmm. it's correct. I hit the ball yesterday in the park. Uh, it's yes. correct. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we get it. <laughs> but normally, uh, lo que sucede es que hit es como bien específico cuando usted está molesta, you know, and you hit something. So, mm -hmm. uh, creería que es una, si es una pelota, probably, we can use the word kick, right? Que es como yo patía o yo le pegué a la pelota uh -huh. con el pie. Uh -huh, so kick. Pero oh. la idea está bien, pero la idea es good. Like, okay. I hit the ball. Okay. Yo creería que es like, estaba molesta y pum, I hit it. <laughs> But yeah, uh -huh. normally it's kick, okay. como con el pie, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, give me your examples. Any new verb, any new vocabulary that you got? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Miss. You hit the ball very hard yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds good. Like in baseball, right? Okay, cool. Any new, any other? Uh, me, I teacher. <laughs> okay, Ale, I'll go with you and then I'll go with Margarita again. So, Alejandro, go ahead. Okay, my brother forgot his Facebook password. Ooh. <laughs> I like that example. <laughs> I feel so, I relate a lot to your brother. <laughs> okay, Margarita, what is your example? I fell off my belt last night. No, but that is an example, right? You're not serious. Or, or is it for real, Margarita? Me escapé caer. Ah, ok, so I almost no, fell off. <laughs> A medio camino. <laughs> ok, so we can include one expression. Ahora que menciona que casi se cayó. So we can include this expression that is almost, como almost always, if you remember. So we can include almost para cosas que no se completan. I almost fell off, uh, etc. So you casi me caí, right? I almost fell off my bed yesterday. I like that example. Rachel Picture. says, I dress an animal. Yes, miss, dígame, tell me. Eh, el, el, adver, el adverbio de cantidad sería, vea. El almost iría antes del verbo. Yes, yes uh, in the, oh, perdón, escribí en presente. En el chat, si usted puede ver el chat, Um, it says here, I almost fall off. So, lo que lo escribí en presente, that would be in past. I almost fell off. Yo casi me caí. And then le puede agregar más, right? I almost fell off the bed yesterday. Um, siempre que sea como un casi, we can include it there. Like, yo casi hice esto. Uh, yo casi me caí. I almost fell off the bus. Or I almost fell off. Um, the, the chair, etc. So yes, we can include almost there. Uh, uh, Jose Luis, I think you had an example for us. Yes, I meet yes. new, I meet new coworker in the office. Oh, okay. So okay, very nice. I like that one. So sería el siguiente, right? That would be the second verb. So I met. Yo conocí. I, I met. met. Yes. Uh, parece, se parece mucho, but this would be meet, meet and base. this is met. Yes, meet is present okay. or base form, and met would be the best. So I met a uh, new co-workers in the office. Very good example. Anybody else? Me teacher. Yes, miss, go ahead. I put my blouse inside out. <laughs> I love that example, especially when you get dressed in the morning, okay? That would be good. I put, probably, solo le voy a agregar una palabrita después de put, que es, I put on. So I put, put on. on. Put on, eh, esa expresión cambiamos la T por la R, so I put on, es como yo me probé o yo me puse, right? I put on my blouse inside out. De adentro hacia afuera, ya. Yeah. <laughs> o al revés, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that word. A very nice example. Anybody else? I can't make my homework on the bus. Uh, I can't make my homework on the bus. Okay, that, I like that example. Solo una cosita here. Como la idea es hacerlo en pasado. Um, tenemos, oh. I'm going to write, voy a escribir este ejemplo porque es muy bueno. So I can. I can make my homework in the bus. Okay.
guys, tenemos acá una, una situación bien interesante porque Oscar says, yo puedo hacer mi tarea en el bus. Pero imaginémonos que esto fue de pasado. I can't. Oh, no puede. I can't. Sorry, I heard you could do it. I was like, wow, yo me mareo, you know. <laughs> ok, so, um, ¿qué es lo que sucede con esto? Si te se fijan, tenemos can't. Y con can, positivo o negativo, yo no puedo cambiar ningún verbo. ¿Ya? No puedo utilizar made. Eso nunca va a ser posible. This is not possible. ¿Qué va a pasar entonces? What is going to happen? ¿Cuál es el pasado de Ken? Ken. Ken. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Exactly. So, entonces, cambio el Ken. I could. Y ahora eso se hace negativo. I couldn't make my homework in the bus. Yo no pude. Ok. O yo no podía. So, siempre que sea una idea en pasado, this is what is going to happen. No cambio el verbo, sino el can. De paso, can is could. So, I couldn't make my homework in the past. En el pasado, yo no podía hacer mi tarea. O en el pasado, yo no podía cocinar. I couldn't cook five years ago. Ahora tampoco, pero... You know, <laughs> no, but the idea is I couldn't. Yo no podía. ¿El auxiliar, teacher? Es el auxiliar, that is correct. So, ah, pasados... Okay. Podemos utilizar didn't, right? We can definitely use didn't, right? Para hacerlo pasado. I didn't make, yo no hice. Pero yo también puedo utilizar el verbo yo no pude. Ay, yo no pude venir I ayer. Mm, pero no los puedo mezclar. For example, quiero decir yo no pude venir. O yo no pude ir. How would you, how would you say that? Didn't or couldn't. ¿Cuál de los dos? No los puedo mezclar. I cannot put them together. Cool. Mm, okay, yo no pude ir, digamos. So I couldn't, I'm sorry, I couldn't go. Yo no pude ir. Or I'm sorry, yo no pude venir. I couldn't come. Yeah, sorry teacher, no me pude conectar a la clase. I'm sorry, I couldn't join the class. Uy, no pude enviarte el correo. I couldn't send the email. So no estoy cambiando el, el, el modificando el verbo. Um, I'm just going to use this in the normal form. ¿Qué sucede entonces con didn't? No puedo combinarlos. I cannot put them together. Lo tendría que cambiar si quiero decir yo no lo envié. Yo no pude y yo no lo envié. Son dos cosas diferentes, right? So guys, couldn't, la forma negativa. I'm sorry, ese es el pasado del verbo can. Y esa es la forma negativa. La forma positiva would be this one. I could send. Pero luego van a ver más adelante que tiene otros usos también. Eh, no les quiero confundir, guys, but let me know if this is clear, if this is all right. O los perdí un poco. Did I lose you a little bit? O estamos bien. Are we okay? Questions, doubts. Pregunten. O sea que la usar can, teacher, el, el verbo no cambia. O sea, siempre va a ser en presente. Okay. That is correct. That is correct. Because if you remember, for example, cuando utilizamos can en presente, um, so you can say, I can cook, right? So she can um, ride a bike. Y nunca modificábamos el verbo. So we never modified this verb. Nunca le agregábamos ese. Because no podemos agregar o no podemos cambiar verbos con auxiliares. So, esto pasa con can, esto pasa con do, esto pasa con did. So, ¿qué es lo que va a pasar en pasado? Si yo quiero decir yo podía o ella podía, pues lo mismo. No voy a cambiar el verbo, solo cambio can, I could, y ya es pasado. So, I could cool five years ago. She could ride a bicycle when she was a girl. When she was... A little girl. Yeah, and, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. No cambiamos el verbo. No el verbo que está a la par, right? Not the verb that is next to the auxiliary. How so, can okay. you use did or didn't? Oh, that's a very good question. So again, no los puedo mezclar because can poder. And okay. did es el pasado de do. So, ¿qué es lo que va a cambiar entonces? I couldn't cook. Yo no podía cocinar. Pero yo no quiero decir que no podía. Quiero decir que yo no quise, que yo no cociné. Se me olvidó, whatever reason. Oh, okay. So, I didn't. I didn't cook today. No cociné, you know. Uh, today, había maruchan. I didn't cook. Okay. 
So, es diferente. No es que no pudiera, sino que no lo hice. Ok. So, I can tell you, for example, uh, ahora no la ve. So, I didn't, I didn't wash my clothes because of the rain. Because of the rain. So, no es que no pueda lavar, es que no lave. So, I didn't wash my clothes because of the rain. But no puedo mezclar. I couldn't. So, lo que solamente quiero que veamos es que no puedo mezclar estos dos. I couldn't, didn't. Or I didn't, couldn't, right? Okay. Nunca podemos mezclarlos. We can never mix them. Cold, cold es a poder y did a hacer. Esa es la diferencia. Y como verbos, yes. Pero en este caso, en pasado, cuando decimos I didn't, esto no significa yeah, nada. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. El didn't Porque solamente... Tiene el verbo en la base. En, la, en, en el pasado, el verbo. That's es right. Correcto. Exactly. El didn't solo es como no. Y me da la idea que es pasado. Eso es todo. Pero no significa nada. No lo traducimos, de hecho. We don't translate it. Okay, okay guys. Uh, no worries, that is totally fine. Okay, guys, I have uh, some questions for you. Okay, we're going to practice this. And in this part, guys, we have the following. It says, uh, we have five questions here. Tell me about your last vacation. What did you do? Where did you go, etc. Number two, what did you do for your last uh, birthday? All right. For example, Margarita's birthday was last week. So probably she can answer this. Who was your first crush? This is really interesting. So, ¿quién fue su primer, like, platonic love, let's say, or something like that? What was the last really difficult thing you had to do? And what did you eat for your last meal? Guys, I want you to select only one question, please. Select one question. Select one question. I want you to select one question, okay? And try to give us the answer. Um, but for example, question five says, what did you eat for your last meal? So, ¿cuál fue la última comida que hicieron? Probably lunch, probably, no sé si ya cenaron, so probably dinner. But no solamente like limit, sino denos mucha información. Give us a lot of information, as much information as possible, right? So, uh, guys, select only one question. Seleccionen para responder only one question. Si pueden responder todas en pasado, perfect. That would be amazing but only one that will be okay. Uh, please guys, tome la captura, take a screenshot, take a picture, you know, and we are going to practice this in a bit. Uh, got it, guys. So, ya le tomaron captura. Do you have the questions? Are you ready? If you are in the computer, le pueden tomar un print screen, right? Lo abren un documento de Word, and that'll be a little easier. So, guys, we are going to uh, start talking. I want you to try to say these uh, ideas. I want you to try to participate in English, of course. 
So, like escojan, give us as much information as possible because for tomorrow, vamos a tener una actividad like this. So, there you go, guys. Tenemos cinco minutos. You got five minutes to share, question, and answer it. Then the is please, and fast, simple, fast tense. There you go, guys. Five minutes, let's go. Um, Daisy, are you good? Creo que no se pudo unir, right? You couldn't join it. Está en el teléfono. Are you in your cell phone? Si está en el teléfono, Miss, no worries. And the, en la parte de arriba, en la parte izquierda de su teléfono, le va a aparecer un cuadrito. Ah, ya se fue. Ok. So Rachel puede unirse también a los grupos. You can join the groups uh, to listen to them, to, to practice the listening. That's all right. I see. Ay, ahí estamos. Será que no se ve. No remember who was your fear. No, no recuerdo quién fue mi. Tu crush. No tengo. Ah, no, no tuve. Ya me acordé, no tuve. Marina, ya me tenía. Lo vamos a contar, tranquila. <laughs> Solo queda grabado. Cross of movies. Ya, yeah. mi mamá. Y me oh. puede escuchar. Pero en inglés, no, tell us in English, Miss. No, but exactly. Yeah. That can be a, an actor. Yeah. Of, sí, soy uh, clase, ¿eh? Háblame después, más chumba. So that can be an actor in kindergarten, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a crush. Uh -huh. No boyfriend. It's not boyfriend. It's not. It's a crush. Exactly. It's just it's a, a crush. Impossible. Yeah, that's impossible. right. My, yes. my crush, for example, is Jason Statham from the Ooh. movie. Jason. Uh, the Transporter. <laughs> yeah. So he's my crush. Ah, yes. Yes. Good election. <laughs> so he was my crush. My, my crush yeah. is Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer. Oh, <laughs> from the Hunger Games. Yes, and, and the X Men. And uh, from the X Men. Yes. Who is she? And, the Scarlet Woman. Uh, I don't remember the name. Misty. Misty. Es, this is correct. Mystic. Mystic. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is Lawrence. I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. My crush is Amber Hart. <laughs> uh, okay. Nobody is into Johnny Depp, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I like. Bad elections. Bad elections. <laughs> okay. So guys. I have number two. Oh, okay, cool. What did you do for your last birthday? I did go to the beach with my family and friends. For example. Is correct or not? Teacher? Uh, yes, yes, that is correct. 
but, but give us more information. I thought you would continue talking. <laughs> so give us, give us more information, more details. More details. Yes. Uh, I did go to the beach with my family and friends. I ate seafood. Uh -huh. um, how to say, me bañé en la piscina. Me bañé. Uh, I, well, it's not necessary to say me bañé, but you can say this magic word or this magic verb that is I got in the pool. Uh, so, yeah. cuando no sabemos el verbo, podemos usar el verbo get. Mm -hmm. So, I got in the pool. Como me metí, right? I got in the pool. Mm -hmm. I got in the pool. Yes. Okay. Margarita. Erika, no, Sara. No vino. <laughs> what? <laughs> y ahí la veo. <laughs> es un fantasma, es una imagen, una um, ilusión. Por Ingrid, Lisette. Uh, question, okay. what did you do for your last birthday? Um, on my birthday, they made me a family dinner and they broke a K for me. Oh, sounds good. I don't understand the last activity. Oh, can you repeat it, Ale? Please. Can, can you repeat the last part? Oh, okay. Um, o sea, question, uh, what did you do for your last Birthday. birthday, yes. Yes. On my birthday, uh, they made me a family dinner and they broke a cake for me. Broke? Brought, like... Um, De quebrar. Like take, no, 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 from bring, bring right? Yeah, yeah uh, from bring, Broke. like take. Um, so I guess she meant bring. So the pass of bring is brought. Like, ellos le, le llevaron un pastel, right? So they yes. took like a cake for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, cool. it's brought. It's brought. brought. Yes. Uh, listen, brought. It's brought. 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 Mm -hmm. But that was a, a very nice one. What about the rest, guys? What did you select? Which one did you choose? <sighs> Sara, Lisette, Ingrid. Question. What is the question, yes. Sara? What, what did you eat for your last meal? I ate for dinner and today, being with cream for uh, only. Uh, did you drink anything? Did it's, you have Did you have something to drink? And I'm, yeah, I I drink for coffee. Oh, so mm -hmm. and in past the past of drink. Um, drunk. Yes. Okay, so you drank coffee at night. Yes. Wow. I, Can you sleep? Yes. No, but at night. <laughs> wow, Miss, I envy you. So, okay, amazing. I normally get a headache. But if I don't drink coffee in the morning, <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Or uh, I, I drink uh, for, um, uh, como digo, tazas de café en cups. el día. Cups. Cups. Cup, cup, um, for, for cups of, um, en el día, so, it, day. Every every day. So every you drink day. four cups. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that sounds all right. 
Um, Lizette, what about you? I haven't heard you today. Oh my goodness, it's about time. I haven't heard Ingrid. Ingrid, está mejor su audio. Is your, your audio a little better? Sí, teacher, mejoró la verdad. Uh, ¿Será la conexión, ¿Sí? Miss? ¿O se conectó con el teléfono? Ajá, sí, sí. Yeah, sometimes es un poco más estable than the computer. Wow, guys. Um, unfortunately, el tiempo no nos alcanza. <laughs> Time is never enough here. So, uh, either way, vamos a regresar. Give me just a moment here. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. Teacher. Hello. Hello. I have to go. Sorry. No, no worries. Actually, I... we are finishing. Mm -hmm, no okay. problem. No I'm problem, happy. miss. I'll see you tomorrow. No worries. Okay, guys. I know. And uh, definitely, el tiempo no nos alcanza. Time is never enough. But the good thing is that we are practicing. So, les voy a dejar esta tarea super pequeña. Uh, tenemos cinco preguntas. We have five questions here. Solo les voy a pedir que para mañana intenten responderlas. Try to answer estas mismas cinco preguntas, right? Tell me about your last vacation. What did you do for your last birthday? Puede ser algo súper cortito. Um, si ya las respondieron, no problem. You are good. Eh, pero si no, intentemos describirlo en pasado. Algunas de ellas van a ser un poco más largas o difíciles. Por ejemplo, what was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Tienen que describir un poquito más, right? Who was your first crush? No importa que no nos digan el nombre, guys. <laughs> We don't really need the name of the person, pero nos pueden decir, I don't know. Cuando yo tenía cinco años, era mi profesor. <laughs> so when I was five years old, it was my kindergarten teacher. Or when I was seven years old, it was Buster Boys. I don't know, guys. Invéntense algo. Si no tuvieron, igual invénteselo, no hay problema. The idea is to try to share these, these uh, ideas or these thoughts in simple past. Um, las disculpas con respecto a la plataforma. Ahora me confirmaron que había habido una eh, confusión con los grupos. Ya se solventó, entonces ya no tendría que desaparecerles, right? Eh, parte de su progreso, así que sorry about that. Eh, pero entiendo que ya está corregido, you know, everything is good y, y ya les aparece a todos, creo, el progreso. Si a alguien todavía les aparece borrado, o no les está marcando el progreso, let us know, guys, eh, porque si los compañeros de soporte ya me indicaron que ya está solventado. Para esta semana sí. tenemos que completar la unidad número 3. Dígame, Margarita. Eh, en español lo voy a decir, pero a mí me escribió una chica de Ajá. inglés corporativo y me hacía ver que yo no había hecho nada en, el, en la plataforma. El día viernes. El día viernes, correcto. Entonces yo le explicaba a ella que tuve que volver a iniciar la plataforma porque se había dado problema. Eh, en el mensaje inicial me decía que el, el hacer la plataforma avanzar de forma correcta eh, habría la oportunidad de seguir en el en el proyecto de, de seguir estudiando inglés. Uh -huh. Y yo le decía que sí, que lastimosamente había tenido inconvenientes o me había trazado por cuestiones de trabajo y que incluso pues habíamos tenido problemas con la plataforma. Uh -huh. Entonces ella me dijo que eso nunca había sucedido, que eso uh -huh. no podía ser y que lo que tenía que hacer era ponerme al día. Entonces <risa> prácticamente me trató, me tildó de mentirosa. Entonces yo le dije, eh, ok, le dije, está bien, yo me pongo al día, nada más. Pero no fui la única, le dije yo, ¿verdad? ya no me y, dijo nada. Sí, no, la verdad es que lo comprendo en, en, y todavía creo que yo les comentaba, esto no se nos había pasado, y no es la primera vez que me sucede, pero sí, ahora me comentó el compañero que había habido como una confusión, you know? eh, y por eso es que les aparecen algunos dos grupos abiertos. But ya se funcionó, you know? ya no le tendría que aparecer esa dificultad. E igual, ¿verdad? Eh, sorry, yo creo que la mayoría recibió ese correo que uh, estábamos un poco retrasados, 
Yo le comentaba al compañero que la mayoría había avanzado, de hecho, hasta la unidad 3, algunos ya estaban terminando. En, y pues las disculpas, guys, no, no es nada personal, you know. Lo que sucede es que siempre les dan el seguimiento eh, para que nadie se nos vaya quedando atrás, right? Pero para esta semana esperaría que ya esté solventado en... en Sí, teacher, a, mí me, a mí me pasó algo parecido a de Margarita. Uh -huh. este, la chica me dijo de que me había reportado con muy baja nota porque ya todos los viernes reportan a, a Insafor. Y yo le explicaba que yo ya había trabajado un, eh, este, un capítulo. Así es que me dijo de que yo había adquirido un compromiso y de que no lo estaba cumpliendo. Así es que terminé la plataforma el viernes. Wow, que ya nice. me están regañando. Bárbara. Wow, no, mis, y de hecho, mejor, you know, como les comentaba, si ustedes pueden avanzar más en la plataforma, mejor, porque ustedes también ya se quedan más, más tranquilos, right? Sin estar con la presión de, ay, es para mañana, es para esta semana. So, gracias, Sara. Y pues, sí, lastimosamente se nos dio esa, esa dificultad. Eh, yo sé que no tiene nada que ver con ustedes, guys. Sorry si se sintieron regañados, you know, or the, como Margarita dice, si les, se sintieron como que los estaban, que era algo personal, no lo es definitivamente. And, uh, y, y pues ya lo reporté también, right? Para que los compañeros, de hecho, estuvieran um, pendientes eh, y no solventaran lo que estaba pasando. Pero esperemos que no vuelva a pasar. Um, so, para quienes todavía nos, nos quedan esta semana, eh, me ayuda porfa con la plataforma número 3 y con las cinco preguntitas para el día de mañana. All right. Gracias, chicos. Que descansen, okay. que tengan una bye. nice. Eh, have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.